Hello and welcome to my new tutorial series on the Raspberry Pi. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to prepare an SD card in Windows. We will download an operating system from raspberrypi.org, check it to make sure there was no errors, and then write the OS onto an SD card. All downloads will be in the description below. First, go to www.raspberrypi.org slash downloads. Page looks like this. You'll see there are a number of downloadable zip files. These are operating systems that you can use. I'm going to be downloading the Raspbian Wheezy image, as this is the recommended one for, for beginners. However, you can still use this tutorial if you want to um, download an Arch Linux or a Debian image. Um, just instead of clicking on here, just click this. Um, so. Uh, to start your download, click here, and it will come up with something like this, um, just telling you uh, that your download started. Uh, it's about a 500 meg download, so it will take you half an hour to maybe an hour to download it. And uh, make sure you keep this window open, because um, you're going to need this checksum later, just to check that your file has no errors or hasn't been corrupted with the download. So give that some time, and then once it's finished, you will see something that looks like this. I've saved mine to the desktop, yours might be in the downloads folder. But this is what it looks like. And um, so, and there it is. And now, just to make sure that it hasn't been um, corrupted or those errors, uh, to make sure there's no errors when you're downloading it, we're going to use this to application here which will be it again the download will be in the comments below just a, a link and um, this is it it's uh, a CNET download and it's an MD5 and SHA1 checksum utility basically it generates a hash using your file just to make sure um, that um, and you, you, you check the hash against your hash here and if they match then your download's gone great and if they don't when well, you're going to have to download it again um, so click download now and once it's downloaded run it again I've saved mine to the desktop okay it'll come up with a box like this um, as you can see we're going to just browse for our file we want to search for the operating the compressed zip file that we just downloaded our operating system at the moment so mine is on desktop so just scroll down try and find it and there it is so double click that and it can take some time just to appear meanwhile while it's doing that uh, we can download um, our next thing which is Win32 Disk Imager. Basically, this is how we're going to write um, our operating system onto your SD card, and um, it's, it's very useful um, in the fact that it's just a simple user interface um, that really isn't that hard to use. Uh, again, the download links will be in the comments below. So, here we go. No, that's still not done. Um, click download, and um, again it will download into a zip file. Uh, it'll look like this. Um, just ex extract that. Once you've finished with extract it, just so it's um, not compressed anymore and that you can use it. Extract them all onto into uh, wherever you want. Oh, mine will probably be onto the desktop again. This worked. Yes, it has. And then just leave that for now because we won't we won't need it just yet. Now uh, my SHA one sum has generated this. Um, and so that's ignore the MD5. You don't need that. Um, so let's just see whether that's a match. So. Using your still open downloads page, copy.
copy um, this and then paste it into there and just click verify SHA1 hash matched which means that uh, everything is okay and that um, nothing to worry about if it doesn't match uh, I suggest just downloading it again um, just to see if that will fix your problem okay you can close that now now um, using this um, extract them extract it just to your um, desktop or oh, that's, that's the easiest anyway um, so there we go just extract it until you get this and that's the application that we're going to be using at the, in a minute uh, however this is only a 500 meg file as it's just com as it's been compressed we can't actually use it till we de decompress it so therefore right click and go to extract all um, uh, click on it and just walk through the guide that I've just done um, and just uh, and select where you want to have it then you should get um, something similar to this and this is just a disk image file and uh, it's 1.8 gigs and this is what we're actually going to use this will work when we write it with win32 disk imager so um, as I said it's 1.8 gigs so uh, if you've got a 1 gig SD um, it's not going to work you're going to have to have a 2 gig SD and as far as I know um, it's been they've been all tested all the way up to 32 gigs um, that they work with so let's go to win32 disk imager and let's just run it using the application here none of these nor those just run it we come up with a pop-up saying that's just been downloaded from the internet and your computer can't um, doesn't know what it is just um, press yes safe okay now you come up with a, a, a box like this and so this is your image file this is what you want to write to the SD um, and we want to just browse for um, the the file that we're going to write to the SD so go to desktop or wherever you've saved yours and there it is my disk image file double click and it's appeared in there you can manu manually type um, the path but it's just easier to browse now select which device you want to write it to now mine's Z because mine is my S my internal SD card reader is allocated as a Z drive if you've got things like USBs plugged in make sure that you allocate it to the right drive that your um, SD is in because if you write it to USBs and stuff, um, you're going to end up messing all the stuff up on the USB. And then simply click write. Yep, we do want to do this. And as you can see, it started. This will take about five minutes. Then once you've finished, uh, once it's finished, uh, you've got your operating system on your SD, and you just plug it into your Raspberry Pi, and connect to power, and yep you're up and going uh, the login user the default one should be pi and the password raspberry um, and um, uh, I've please subscribe so I can keep up with my videos and uh, if you have any problems or um, you didn't understand any part of this tutorial that you'd like me to go over more please leave uh, any questions or thoughts in the comments below and or email me at the raspberry pi guy at gmail.com hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys and um, I'll be making it a, a new one soon just on how to make sure that you're using all of the um, you're using all of the space on your SD card because say you've got an 8 gig SD like me and um, you and you put a 2 gig image onto it you're not going to be able to use your the rest of the space so until until next time bye